So I would like to like you to have a look at that sentence. And normally you would say, she loves me, right? Without any sort of uh, contrast or of any type. Okay, what if it sounded like that? She loves me. She loves me. Okay. All right. What would it mean? It would mean that it's that particular woman and not another woman or another person or anyone else loves me, but this particular woman I'm talking about. Right? She loves me. Okay. How would you say that in Portuguese? É ela que me ama. É ela que. É ela que me ama. Ela é que me ama. Right? So we don't rely so much on pronunciation and contrast to do that in Portuguese. So what happens is that our students usually don't know they can do that. All right? So they tend not to do it, and it complicates their lives because they want to say, it's. It's she who loves me. <laughs> she is. The one. She is that. She is the one. She is the one. They would never say that. So what would happen is that they would simply get confused. Yes. Okay, and and you know it would get in the way of their um, normal fluent speech. So it is so easy in English, isn't it? All you have to do is stress the word, and the same goes here. She loves me, not you. Right? So how would you say that in Portuguese? Right? So our students, if if they want, if they need this sort of contrast, that's what they will try to resort to, and then they'll get all mixed up, because it's possible to do it in English, of course. I am the one she loves. <laughs> Much easier to do, isn't it? Then she loves me, right? Of course not. So it's good to, to, to you know to give students a, a chance to see how easy it is and to help them do this as often as possible. So in order to help them, this game that's coming now is uh, okay. You can you use it with real beginners, with to, to, you know, students that are too elementary. But you can. It works as follows. This is uh, Mark's uh, creation, of course. The whole thing is here. Um, so um, what you have here is uh, you say, imagine you are saying this to the waiter, okay? And that's what the waiter replies. <coughs> Depending on what you said, the waiter will reply with different con different stress. Okay, so let's do the first one together. I turn to the waiter and I say, Waiter, this soup is cold. Did you want hot soup? Of course I did. <laughs> now, this is hot, but this isn't soup. What does the waiter say? Soup. Exactly. Okay? Can you try and do the others to 